Back at it again. Welcome back to the Eyes of Rock. Today, we're talking about why you shouldn't argue with women. Bruh. Listen. You should not argue with a woman. Listen to me. That is going to take years of your life. Man, decades. Because one, you cannot get your point across with a woman. Okay? Boy, you're talking to yourself. Alright? You are going in circles. Boy, you might as well be a NASCAR driver, uh, a dog on the uh, derby track or something. Because, boy, the only thing you're doing is uh, circling. Yeah? At high velocity. Listen to me. You can get more. You listen. You have a better time talking to a dry wall that was plastered over brick. You did. They're not trying to do none of it. None of it. Why? Because most of the time, they know y'all lying. Simple. Quit lying. Hey, this will make this a whole lot easier. And if you want to argue with a woman, boy, you better bring truth. Nothing but truth. So help you, the most high. Because, boy, you go in there with half truths and lies. You do. Cut the finito. Shout out to you, But I'm telling you, you are gone. You might as well chop your own off. It's like that. But nah, in all seriousness, man, you shouldn't have to argue with any woman. Not as a man. As a man, you should literally understand how to assess the situation. You should be strong enough to break down whatever she got going on and then make her get right. See, more often times than not, man, when you dealing with a woman and she wants to argue, she wants to see your aggression. She wants to see that primal instinct kick in. Hey, baby. Go on here to the room. I know what you want. Pick whatever, whatever anger you want. I'll be there in a second. Handle your bid. Because I'm telling you, more often times than not, she needs it. She needs it And she ain't talking about it She want that love aspect She want that same energy She was trying to get from that argument You know, they make you Press her against the wall or Go punch something She wants you to <laughs> Punch it Punch the clock Don't clock out Just punch the clock Ride it like a real job. Bro, let me tell you, women are not that difficult. There's no crap man and got people out here tripping, but women are not that difficult when you stand as a man. I'm not talking about a man that has to physically put his hands on you, but I'm talking about a man that can sit there and be like, yo, cut it. Cut it. She know what's up with you. She know what's up with you. Any woman that knows her man is gonna get it, that knows that he can bring it, and knows that he got options, she wants to see that man. Believe it or not, she wants to see. Maybe not all the time. 
Oh, but she never seen it. So y'all think, y'all wonder why all these little pity arguments come about what she trying to rile you up. So as men, you shouldn't argue with a woman. You should make a statement. Handle your business. And we still work. And let me, let me go on here and tell y'all that when I say handle your business, it ain't always got to be in the bedroom, right? I'm gonna say a, a real cool, legit, like legit. You can put 250 on the table. I ain't say five, I didn't say six, I didn't say eight, I didn't say a thousand. And this is your woman. I'm not talking about just random people. However, however, don't get it twisted. The game has always remained the same. You either gonna pay the plate. Or you gonna get in where you fit in. I'm not telling you have to pay the play, but if you want certain women, you gonna have to pay the play. That's all they're accustomed to. So you think you're going to change them? You're fooling yourself. That's an argument you can never win. The argument when you get in and fit in, is still no argument. Woman, you know she's out of your league because you know what she's about. And the ones that you can get, more often times than not, you know what they want. No real problem, they just need the anger. But mama over here, they a time worth 2300. That's a different statement, G. That's a different statement. Because she won't argue with you. She don't have to. So understand this. If you don't want to have to argue with a woman, chase your back. Understand who you're encountering. But I mean, like I said about the 250, you can drop 250 on account of guilt. Guilt. Guaranteed. You get home, she gonna be dolled up to you. Because again, she needs to see the primal man that she first saw. They wasn't worried about the crowd because you saw that. Believe it or not, they just want to get back to that. Make sure that they still can bring fire and they're still desired. Not when you're trying to argue with a woman, man, it's nothing but it's you turning into a woman. You don't have to bicker. You don't have to do none of that. You sit back and you chill. You make her understand the vibe. You mad now, but I got the attitude of justice. I am me. Oh, you mad. Oh, girl. Let's see how mad. shouldn't argue with one. For one, you're not even the same. So the emotions can run a little too high. And if you know the results of that, it's never good. 
more often times than not it's for the man. But there are cases with women. But we're trying to stop the domestic violence. We're trying to communicate and not argue. We're trying to find solutions and not more problems. So we're not arguing with women. We're listening. Your woman just wants you to be a man, G. A man. And the sooner you figure that out, the sooner you'll have her shit. And you're your four So, not, I repeat, do not argue with your woman or a woman. As a man, make sure you stay cool, calm, and collected. That's the king of you all. Never get put in the peasant stage. Understand your place. Understand who you are. And understand what you were bred for. So, Next time, keep them women happy.